I could have screened the movie prom tonight. So let's talk about Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. So Game of Thrones is a new series on HBO based off a series of books. Now it's two episodes in, which ultimately comes out to like 10 minutes of watching a movie. So I can't really say if the whole thing is good. Right now it's just kind of like, do I recommend it, do I not? And I do recommend it. When I first heard about Game of Thrones, I heard it was a new series on HBO starring Sean Bean set in a medieval time with like a lot of political scheming and magic. So I was just like, I'm in. And it pretty much is that, although there's not a lot of magic right now. Don't really know if there's ever gonna be magic really, but there's like this mystical undertone. So I don't expect like, wizards to come out with wands and start like blasting magic at each other or anything like that. Like dragon eggs are in it. Are there dragons? I want dragons. Seriously, throw dragons on the screen, I'm done. But it does have a lot of politics and I like medieval politics. There's like a kingdom to the north where Sean Bean is and there's the capital kingdom. Then there's another kingdom where a dude sold his sister to a bunch of like warrior guys. They're like the Spartans from 300 if they were kind of like the Persians also. Human versions of Klingons. There we go. And he did that so we can have an army so we can get his kingdom back or something like that. But he's really not a good guy. And then you got this other family scheming for the throne it just schemes upon like the joker said they're schemers in a game of thrones ah right now the only character where i can be like that is a good guy is sean bean everyone else is up in the air at this point for most people lena hetty's in the show and we've all loved her as leonidas's wife and sarah connor in the sarah connor chronicles good chick we all liked her but in this one she's a dick i just want her to die hot though be a waste but yeah she's an asshole villainous bitch from hell the things that political epics are made from and something i want to see more of the white walkers like in the beginning of the show the first 15 minutes these white walkers rose up and slaughtered two guys then we haven't seen them since really ultimately they're these medieval magic zombie badasses who huff too much spice on arrakis and they kill people yeah awesome now i like the character even if i don't like the characters i like how they're portrayed the actors portray them really well you like the ones you're supposed to like you hate the ones you're supposed to hate bitch and again like i've said i like it when shows or movies will take things to the next level like kids get hurt and die in this show now it's not like i want to see kids get hurt or die or anything like that but this show takes it where it needs needs to go and I like that. A lot of things will be like, no, we can't have children, no, we have to cut that part out. We have to appeal to all demographics, you know? Not Game of Thrones. It's a little jumpy with the time though, I'll say that. Like a month will go by in the show and just, you know, the snap. Kind of freaks you out a bit. You feel like you fell off the time train like in Slumdog Millionaire, where the kids are like, five years older in a second. And it's a rated R show by concept and content. If your parents don't want you to see either, the plot's probably gonna go over your head anyway, so you're gonna hate the show. I do wanna see more fighting. I wanna see more battles. They've said in the show that war is coming, so you know this side's gonna try to screw this side, and these people are gonna try to scheme for the throne while those people are at war. Good shit. But in the first two episodes, a lot of talking, good dialogue, but I want more blades. It's like the Elder Scrolls meets Civilization V. Actually, I think that's kind of perfect. So Game of Thrones, good new series, already renewed for a season two, which I was really worried about that because HBO already had a show that was pretty much it's you know medieval epic political scheming show although it wasn't really medieval it was Rome and it got canceled because it was too expensive Game of Thrones is like half the budget of Rome although it doesn't look it so that's cool and impressive so I'm feeling good about getting invested into this show no sense in getting invested into something that's you know gonna be gone so have you seen Game of Thrones do you like it so far what do you think about it comment below let me know and I put a link for the intro to the show below check it out because it's cool looking it's a good song and it shows you where all the kingdoms are which is really important to know because I've watched the intro like 78 times and even now when they talk about kingdoms I'm like where, where is that oh yeah it's, I think so you have to be smarter than me to get it all or else you're gonna be lost I still like the show though yeah, the guy Thor is awesome and if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more as always click right here to see more